Hey, Minute Fish, 26th of August, 2018. I just want to hop on here quick to show you this. It's crazy, but this whole fall of Rome and the Vatican and, you know, just the stuff that I've been seeing for a while now is like, it's not stopping. And the whole 9-11 pattern is crazy, but this is nuts, right? I'm just, I'm reading about this whole Pope in Ireland thing and I can't help it I, I I see images this is this is how I interpret a lot of things and I see this image that CNN puts out here it's not very favorable to the Pope when he they're allowing big signs that say the Pope is the head of the biggest pedophile ring in the history of mankind okay I believe that this is going to be intentionally uh, brought down the Catholic Church is going to be essentially abolished in, in the traditional sense, this the church that's been around for millennia is going to be done away with and replaced with the new world church, the all-inclusive church, the love everyone church, okay? And they're using the name of Jesus to do it, and that's just unacceptable. But the one thing that caught my mind that I want to show you about here real quick is that he's going to hold this mass, in, or he already did actually, I guess, in this place Phoenix Park in Dublin Ireland and it was just a simple fact that I saw the word Phoenix that made me just my spirit just went okay go look into that <laughs> the actual park Phoenix Park so I just do simple wiki easy two seconds and I'm looking and I'm not seeing anything really you know it was a 17th century 707 hectares it's got a couple of interesting monuments, and then I see this, and I go, what is this? This is a big old obelisk here. And I do a little searching as to what that is, and it's called the Wellington Monument. And it's right in the same park, the place where the Pope is going to be speaking. So he'll have this in the backdrop, and you don't get a real good view of it right here, but check this out, right? This thing is huge. It's a big one. In fact, it's the biggest one in all of Europe. And I didn't even know this existed. This is the craziness, right? Look at that thing. That'll be the backdrop for the Pope's talk today. So, of course, you know, my spirit's like, go check it out. And meaning, go to the map. So, I go to the map. And you're just, you're just going to love this. I don't know why that's there. Let me fix this. And so I will go to that obelisk, right? This is this is crazy. In Phoenix Park in Dublin, Ireland. Okay? Right there. That's the obelisk. And this is where the Pope's going to be speaking. Right here. This is Phoenix Park right here. And that'll be the Pope's backdrop, essentially, right? But where does the Pope live? He, he lives in the Vatican. And what's in St. Peter's Square? A giant, authentic Egyptian obelisk, right? So I have to do this. You guys know I just got to do this stuff now. So I go to St. Peter's Square, where the Pope lives. Okay. Lives alongside the dragon here. And... <laughs> You got to look at this. I'm, st I, I, I'm just still kind of like trying to process it, to be honest with you. But this is the type of measurement where you know you're exact, right? You're like right down to the foot when it pertains to this, right? So right to the very foot in miles. We're talking 1173.69. The 1173, 731.9. 11, 729, okay, I mean, there are 911s there, but it's not one that really jumps out at you, but just the fact that you can arrange 911 out of it with a 69 on top is pretty interesting, but then it just comes into my mind, it's like, I never do this, it's like, check the kilometers, after all, you're in Europe, you know, when in Rome, use kilometers, and so I do, and I can't believe this. And to me, it says an immediate mocking of Jesus. That's what this says to me. This is a mocking of Christ on the cross. Look that up in Gematria. Jesus cross. 888. Jesus gospel. 
888. This is a mocking and a half right here. That's crazy, man. And not only that, right? Now I'm playing with this thing, so I'm going to check nautical miles. And that just sewed it up for me when I see this. 1019.91 nautical miles. A double 911. Okay? So th it just doesn't stop. Do you know what I mean? And this isn't the kind of stuff that, you know, I mean, there it is. <laughs> so, and it didn't end there because I was looking at a couple more articles. I'm trying to figure out earlier what is it I'm seeing here about all this, these, uh, you know, Vatican things. And I come across a piece in one of these articles that leads me to this uh, two cathedrals, okay? These are two cathedrals in Armagh, Ireland. It's all about Ireland today. And there's a Roman Catholic cathedral over here and a Protestant cathedral over here, right? And this cathedral, when I saw the image of it here, I was like, whoa, I've seen that before. And it just came into my mind. And it's very strange, but very real. And it was the I Pet Goat cartoon. This satanic inspired cartoon. But that's what Satan does. It's showing what's going on. It's showing the new Jesus. The Antichrist it waking up, birthing into the world. And what's the first thing that we see behind him as he wakes up is a Roman Catholic cathedral. I mean, just like this one. Exactly like this one. And what happens? It starts to crumble. It, one of the spires falls just like one of the Twin Towers on 9-11. The other spire falls, but watch how it falls. And then watch how the spire right there crushes the cross. Crushes the cross. Do you understand? At 6-11. That's not an accident. 9-11, 6-11, the destruction of the church and the bringing in of the new church. You see where I'm coming from? I hope so, because a lot of this stuff I have a hard time digesting, to be honest with you. But it's all relevant because, I mean, when we look at these maps like this, I'm telling you right now, what you're seeing is just... The works of Satan over the millennia through the flesh to construct all these cities and monuments and his big vain memorials all around the world. And the Pope just happens to be speaking at one of the, the biggest obelisk memorial to Satan in Europe as the Catholic Church begins to crumble. But they'll be waiting. They'll be waiting to catch the, the lost sheep and lead them right into the pit. So don't be deceived. You need to develop a personal relationship with your Savior, Jesus Christ. Your church is misleading you, and I'm just going to leave it at that. Seek Him. Go into your closet, seriously, with your Bible. This is nuts, but I have to show this stuff to you. It's just the way it is. And uh, so there you go. Uh, I think I pretty much covered everything. Probably not. Uh, no, that's not it. Uh, I wanted to share with you random Bible verse from this morning. Uh, I'm not going to read it because I don't do it justice. <laughs> but please go and read this. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3-7. through 7. And remember, those in Christ, you have a comforter. We can endure anything. We have the spirit of the living God in us. So just remember that the rest of the world are lost. And if you don't know Jesus Christ, you'll remain lost. And you'll continue to put your faith in men when you can look around and see clearly, if you're honest, that that's just not going to happen. Jesus Christ is the only way. If you don't know him, seek him today, sincerely and humbly, knowing that no man can get you out of this. And he'll show you the truth. Truly, he will. I hope you all had a blessed day today, and uh, peace and grace to all of you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. 
put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 